Hi friends, so I welcome you again to another session on lines and angles and we will continue with our concept lectures and in this lecture we are going to understand a very important component of geometry, vertically opposite angles. Now if you remember when we were talking about straight lines, so lines can have, uh, two straight lines have three options on a plane. One is they can be coincident on each other, so let's say this is one line. And I have another line, which is, let's say, coincident on this one. Okay, so another line on this one. So if you see, obviously, it will be very difficult to see two co coincident lines, but I have drawn through, you know, two, uh, one small arrow. And if I change the color of this one, so let me draw another one and uh, show you how. Yeah, so I'm just drawing, right? So these are coincident lines. Two lines are coincident. Other possibilities were two lines are parallel. So this is one line and another line is this one. They are parallel. And the third possibility is they intersect on the same plane, isn't it? So hence, this is intersection, two intersecting lines. So vertically opposite angles are generated when two lines intersect. Okay, so if you see here, let's say this is A and B and C and D, which I have already shown here as well. So there are two lines a b and c d they are intersecting at point o okay now angle a o c and angle b o d b o d form a pair of vertically opposite angles okay similarly so it's not that only one pair exists there are one there is one more pair so every uh, whenever two lines intersect there will be two pairs one is i just show you another one if you see b o c and angle a o d again this is another pair right so there are two pairs of vertically opposite angles here so now you understood so whenever two lines intersect at point o or any, whatever is the name of the point so these are the pair of vertically opposite angle and the second pair is this one Okay, so please remember and please understand this uh, concept because now what we are going to prove is um, uh, act, uh, that the vertically opposite angles are always equal. So what is the thing? Okay, so the theorem is vertically opposite angles are always equal. So we have to prove that. So we have drawn here two intersecting vertically opposite, uh, sorry, two intersecting lines. So this is AB and CD. Now let us say they are intersecting at point O. We have to prove that let's say A O D. This is X, and let's say this is Y. So you have to we have to prove that X equals to Y. To prove to prove X equals to Y, and similarly, if this is U and this is V, so U is also equal to V. So we will prove one, and the other will automatically follow. Okay, or you can repeat the same process to prove the other pair. So how to prove x plus y? Now, CD is a straight line. Is a straight line, right? And OA happens to be a ray on CD. So hence, can I not say x plus u is 180 degrees? Why? Again, the reason is linear pair. We studied this in the previous sessions, linear pair. So a CD being the straight line, OA being a ray over it. So hence, the they are adjacent angles with opposite arms non-common arms in the opposite direction so hence it will be a linear pair so x plus u is 180 degrees similarly similarly if you see u plus y is also 180 degrees okay same reason what linear pair because a b is a straight line now so from this one and from this two what can i say from 1 and 2 i can equate both of them from 1 and 2 i can say since both are equal to 180 degrees i can say x plus u is equal to u plus y and now i can cancel this u both sides so what do i get i get x is equal to y that's what we have to prove with a similar logic you can prove that u is also equal to v okay so what is the conclusion conclusion is pair of vertically opposite angles are always equal okay so hence if you have like that two lines intersecting this line this angle will be equal to this angle and this angle will be equal to this angle is that clear so that's what 
is the information about vertically opposite angles.